good boy. Uh, hi, Cancer. Welcome. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with uh, who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, Cancer? Now, keep in mind, of course, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below, Cancer. Thank you. All right, Cancer, so right away here, in regards to who this is you're dealing with, you guys are at home together, so they live with you, okay? And so it looks like here, Cancer, so they start out actually making some plans here, willing to work on some things here with you, create, build ideas, you know, projects, hobbies, you know, being able to make money off of stuff, which is really nice. And then right after that, it's like they don't want to tell you that. I don't know what happened there. They don't want to relay a message. They don't want to, like, look into themselves get some inner wisdom there's a blocked message somehow i have no clue there they are at home home stable with you but then what there's something crazy going on there's something here that they need to get like get rid of or take care of or do and they're not they're totally cool with it they're reserved and just cool calm collected about the situation here with you you guys clearly have a lot of wealth and abundance and money together, which is wonderful and a sense of security and stability, which is nice. Um, they light up for that. They like that. They love the money here with you and all that and security. They're confident and passionate here to continue to make some plans here with you. And then that fast, now they don't want to make any plans. They'd rather make their own individualistic plans alone aside from you. It looks like they just want to move forward and go on a different journey and a path and like heal and release and whatever. Okay, that's good. And then they're full-blown um, guarded towards you and have their walls up and set some boundaries in place. Now, not only do I see you here obviously not happy about that, but they're also emotionally not happy with you and disconnected and starting to disconnect. They're trying to be reserved and calm, but they're, they're not having it either with you. And then it's back to full-blown aggro, defensive, aggressive, playing the victim towards you, getting really angry, okay? Uh, and because they're using you for a physical, financial, emotional, energetic crutch. And that even then is starting to now make them lose their confidence and not feel too happy or planning or passionate and all that here with you and towards you. So let's see more here. Cancer. Okay, they have, this is definitely a commitment to you, okay, of the person that lives with you here. So you guys are committed, but they're not committed is what I'm saying here. Okay, so 
they them kind of trying to plan and take action and them not really knowing or losing confidence i don't know they realize that they're not afraid of you or whatever's going on in the situation they don't feel trapped stuck or restricted they actually are aware of the toxicity the aggressiveness the deception the taboo addictiveness that they are involved in with you now there's something about the past there's nostalgia here with them and you or maybe with them and someone else i don't know whatever kind of nostalgia it is that fast they do not have any passion with you or towards you all of a sudden now they're not happy with you and they don't want to start a new chapter or beginning and now they're depressed as hell now they're going through it so uh that sounds like ooh e ooh e they got a cookie and it's not your cookie it's someone else's cookie cancer now mm, anyway so there's that. Now I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself moving forward. Okay, Cancer. So I've already warned you money with many moons, Cancer, if your person's gay or not. Okay. And <laughs> the cat meows. <laughs> the cat literally meows. Let's not. Oh my God. Okay. Don't get mad at me, Cancer. Anyway, so they're depressed. And then they get rageful and spiteful and fixated and aggressive. And they don't want to see it in your perspective or even keep the peace alive. Then they are full blown not committed to you. They're not trusting themselves and their intuition at all. It's a very messed up karmic situation of what they're doing here to you. Unless you guys are only together for because of contract and money. Well, there's that as well. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then it's like they do they kind of work, kind of have a job, kind of not. I don't know. They don't really want to work on anything here with you, but they kind of do just enough a little bit. So let's see more here. Cancer. Okay, so they're aware of what they're doing and what's going on. They've spoken to you very quickly and now they're feeling public humiliation about reputation. They don't feel successful or happy or they're not getting what they wanted out of you. They can't use you no more. Now they don't want to work and literally do anything and they want to stall and slow everything down. They don't want to create opportunities and help out and they're emotionally disconnected and they're walking away. So you'll be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.